Hey guys, it's Christy, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we have a Sephora haul. So the day that you're seeing this, I believe, is my birthday. So I went shopping this past weekend to kind of celebrate and went a little crazy at Sephora. So if you want to see what I got, please keep on watching. And if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's get into it. Okay, so I absolutely went a little ham when it came to picking up some new makeup. I just got really excited, even though I know the sale is coming, there will be a lot that I will want to pick up then too, but I just decided it's my birthday, so I'm going for it. First, I want to mention a product I got in BoxyCharm that I'm very excited about. I also want to show you guys some products I picked up in the BoxyCharm add-ons because I'm very excited about those as well, and then we'll get into the haul. But the but I am so excited because in my BoxyCharm, I got the Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty. So this is one that I've been going back and forth on for an age. This also has been on sale for a while, so I feel like this one might be getting discontinued. And this was in the February Premium Box for BoxyCharm. So I thought this was absolutely crazy. I haven't been doing um, BoxyCharm unboxings here on my channel anymore. I just don't feel like, I just don't feel like they were a favorite, but, so I did stop doing them, but I had to show you guys. I got this palette. I am so excited. Opening this up, this is a spring dream. I kind of wish I had this before I did my favorite palettes for spring video because how beautiful is this? I know this has been out for a couple years, but this is so beautiful. I cannot wait to play with this one. This is definitely going to get some love, and I'm a huge fan of the Rose Quartz palette, so I know I'm going to love this one just as much. Okay, in my BoxyCharm add-ons, I picked up one of the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Shadows. So I've been curious about these for a while, and we know Hourglass is so expensive, so when I find these for $9 um, on BoxyCharm, I'm absolutely going to investigate. So this one is in the shade Ray. And I really do enjoy single shadows sometimes for just really quick makeup looks. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's just like a really light brown glitter. I love that. But yeah, for $9, absolutely. I definitely want to try that out and see what the hype is about. Also, last month I picked up from Vesca Beauty their highlighter. And this month I picked up the kissed by soft matte bronzing powder and I picked up the shade kissed by Rio so this is the lightest one and this does look like a very very light bronzer but it looks perfect for me it kind of smells nice it almost reminds me of the physician's formula butter bronzer but a little bit less a little bit toned down I really like it I like the smell of this the packaging on the Vesca Beauty products is really, really nice. I do think it's going to be really hard to keep clean, though, just because they are white. But I really, really love the highlights, so I'm excited to try the bronzer. I would be really curious to try more from the brand in general. It is a Canadian-made brand, so it naturally has my attention. But I just thought this would be fun to try out. And I also picked up an eyeshadow palette from Viseart, and this was one of their releases last year. This is the Paris Love Letter palette. So we know I love all kinds of makeup here on my channel, but I do have a special place in my heart for high-end makeup. And Viseart is a brand I really wanted to start exploring a little bit more as I see reviews, as I see some of their new releases. I definitely get very curious for some of the things that they come out with. So. I have been wanting to play with them a little more here on my channel, so I thought here's a great start. So this is the design of the packaging, and it has the standard little pull tab here, and this is the color story. Again, another very, very beautiful spring color story. It looks very beautiful. It looks very light, but at the same time very easy to wear, so I'm very excited to have this in my collection as well. Now let's get into the damage I did at Sephora. So let's talk about the skincare first. I did pick up a, a refill of my Inculist Oat Cleansing Balm. I didn't actually need this yet, but I know I'm going to need it eventually. And there's no point in waiting for the sale for this one because I don't think the Inculist usually counts. 
but I just I do not want to be in a position where I'm without this because I love this so much so of course I did pick that up and that's probably the third time I've purchased that product. Okay, I also picked up from First Aid Beauty their new ingrown hair pads with BHA and AHA. Very curious about these, very curious to see how they work. I'm not really sure how I'm going to update you guys, but either way, I will let you know if these work well. I also picked up from Sol de Janeiro the Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. So this is their Boom Boom Cream scent. Love this so, so, so much. This has to be one of my favorite scents in the whole world, and to have it in hand cream form yes please you know I dip into my hand cream several times a day I work on a computer all day so it's really nice to have this nearby especially when constantly washing hands doing those things so this is so nice to have and this smells incredible all right so I also picked up from rare beauty the always an optimist pore diffusing primer so I've wanted to try this one for quite a while now and I did pick up a mini just in case I did use it today and I really like it so far. Really, really like it. Really, it has a really nice consistency. It has that almost straight silicone type consistency, but it's a little bit more thin, if that makes sense. It initially reminded me of, like, of a thin version of the original Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. That's the vibe I got from this, but I really enjoyed using it, so I'm definitely going to continue to do so. I also like that it comes in a little pump. I think that's very handy. Very happy to have this and I can't wait to keep playing with it. All right, from Makeup by Mario, I picked up one of his Master Pigment Pro Eye Pencils in the shade The Perfect Brown. So what I was excited about with this one is that this is one of his eyeliners. So you get an eyeliner on one end and you get a little flat brush at the other. So it's perfect for just kind of winging out that eyeliner, which I thought was really cool, really innovative. Everything he does is just very cool and innovative. His lip liners also have a brush on the other end. I think that's so cool. So really excited to try this one out. I've definitely been dabbling and doing baby wings a little bit more lately. Not today, obviously, but I've definitely been curious about it lately. So I think this will be a wonderful addition to my collection. All right, I also picked up from Patrick Ta the Major Headlines Precision Lip Crayon in the shade She's Hard to Get, so I've also been wanting to try out his lip liner formula. Makeup by Mario and Patrick Ta are really creeping up there in some of my very favorite makeup brands, so I've definitely been wanting to try everything from their brands. Um, so again, this is the lip liner. It does have a clicky applicator, which is interesting to me because now I'm kind of thinking there's no way you can get the product back down. And the tip of the applicator is also really interesting. So can't wait to try this out. I do know exactly what lip product I'm going to pair this with and I'm super excited to do so. All right. I also picked up the Kosas air brow so this is the fluff and hold treatment gel I love a good brow gel I just want something that's really gonna hold my brows in place this seems to do so I did wear it today but I haven't worn it all day so far so I can't tell you how good it is it seems like it's a lot less intense than the NYX brow glue but I don't think you're gonna get that laminated look that I think a lot of people might be going for when they grab for this I think this will do what I want it to do, which is just to hold my brows exactly where they are right now, but I can't, I can't see it being thick enough and strong enough to actually hold on uh, to that laminated look. Um, the inside of the product is very cute. I love the applicator. I will say this has an awful scent to it. I, I know it's a scent that I recognize but I haven't been able to put my finger on what it smells like, but I will just say the scent is absolutely awful. Um, I can't smell it once it's on my brows, so that's really all that matters, but I will just say that. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated on whether or not I start to love this or not. Another Makeup by Mario product I picked up is the Soft Sculpt Bronzer. So I have tried his bronzing stick. It's not my favorite, but I've really been dying to try out the powder bronzer. So I did pick up the shade Light, so I picked up the lightest one. And I love the compact. This is the bronzer. It's very beautiful. It's just got like a magnetic compact, which I love. And overall, I just love the aesthetic of his brand and I'm really excited. I did put this on today and I really love it. And finally, I picked up the birthday gift from Amika. So they had one from Tatcha, one from Laura Mercier, 
uh, and Mika, and they also had one from Olaplex. If you were shopping online, I was in store, so I picked up the one from Amika. And so this has the Instant Shine Mask, the Dry Shampoo, and the Nourishing Mask. And I haven't tried any of these. The only product I have tried from Amika was a sample of the, of the Cure, which is supposed to be like a hydrating treatment mask. I've tried it. I love it. The consistency is weird, but the mask itself is phenomenal. So really excited to try these out, get to know the brand a little bit more, but that is it. That is this month's haul. I'm going to be busy playing with new makeup for a while. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see anything in particular. I will of course do that for you guys. And that is it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!